Oh well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, this video, then, this is all about the, the, the. This is the beginning of the getting the front headlight fitted and making a, a fairing, or trying to make a fairing for it. Now, since the last video has probably been online for about three weeks, I reckon. So that was when I posted the last one, and I've been waiting since then because I bought that little fairing that we saw in the last one, and it was a nice looking thing, very nice looking thing, but it was just. Uh, totally out of proportion so no good for the bike so we're gonna have a go at making our own and, and you know this I've been struggling with how to do it I think I'm, I've figured out a few different ways I'm gonna give it a try but I don't know whether it'll work we'll find out won't we but what I have been waiting for I've been waiting for a headlight I ordered a headlight and a fairing a fairing screen okay I've been putting this off and putting this off because I still don't know how I'm going to bloody do this. Uh, however, I have tied it up in the garage, which is great since the last one. I fixed my saw. Done that as well. I fixed the hoover. Um, yeah, I just keep doing other stuff because I don't know how to start doing this. Uh, but let's start. So I have my screen. Which isn't the right screen, but hey, it will do for a start on it. I don't have the headlight yet. What I did is I took a side profile picture of the bike, a uh, lot of them, um, so I could sort of just draw some different fairing shapes on it, just try and get the positioning correct. On it, you know, the, the things exactly where I want them to be. Uh, now we're going to make it out of fiberglass, as we said, same as the seat unit. So we've got to make a plug. I've got a load of this stuff here.
got some bar. And this really is hard work. Uh, but if it works, it'll be great. So now I'm thinking about edges rather than anything else. So now I'm going to build all of my edges first and then plaster around it afterwards. Right then, so this is where 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 current state of play is. Um, fairing over there, fine. Couldn't get the edges on it properly done. Uh, so I've built this one, and this is made out of six mil six mil metal tube. Oh, metal pipe, metal bar. And I've just tacked it all together. Ran out of gas in the world a bloody ages ago, so I've just been tacking it as it is. And as you can see, I've got the basic outline shape of it now. You know, it's funny, it's taken me this long to understand why I need to own so many pairs of mole grips. And now it kind of makes sense. Okay, uh, so the fairing is um, done. Well, the first part of it's done anyway. And um, as you can see, I really like it actually. I love it. It's a bit Mad Max. And you know what, if I, if I was styling the bike differently, I think I'd just leave it like that and bolt it on. Maybe that's for another bike. Um, but, so the idea is now I've got some edges, so now I should be able to use the plaster up to my edges. This is my plan. Okay, so you can see I've just sort of filled in all of the gaps just with a bit of steel, just welded it in. And yeah, well, you know, let's see. I'm still a bit worried about the difference in shape. I am a bit worried about the difference in shape. But never mind, let's let's do it. Let's carry on with it now and, and see where we end up. Okay, so I'm just going to stick some plaster on it now. Uh, right, okay, I really hate, hate to tempt fate here. Uh, but this is actually working pretty well at the moment. Um, so I'm just smoothing it down. I've got pretty good shape over this side of the fairing now then. So I'm happy with this one. Oh, well, nearly. I've just got to finish off around the bottom and, and, and tied it up a little bit. Where it's a little bit messy here, but that's not an issue. Uh, so what I've got to do then is try and get this the same as this. But at the minute, it's working pretty well. It's working pretty well. So I'm going to stop talking and carry on sanding. Okay then, um, okay, so the fairing, the fairing is done, the fairing is ready, or, or, or rather the plug is ready for its first coat of wax. Uh, I cannot begin to tell you how much work and effort has gone into this, um, a lot is the answer to that, and I, I am very worried that it's morphed into a shape that I really like. Uh, rather than a shape that's going to fit the bike. <laughs> so we don't know. Oh, we still don't know. But anyway, it's all nice and smooth now, and it is now ready for its first coat of wax. So I'm going to give it its first coat of wax, and then I'm just going to go to bed, because I'm absolutely knackered. Right, speak to you in a while. Uh, so the gel coat, I've just painted the gel coat on there. And I'll be honest with you, you know, the um, release agent didn't go on the same as it did when Ian did it. The gel coat hasn't gone on the same as when Ian did it. So I've got no idea what's going to happen here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come back off. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to let this dry off a little bit now. Uh, and then I'm going to come back to it in a while and see what happens. All right. <laughs> Fingers crossed, still. Uh, right then, so where are we? We've fiberglassed. Um, on top of the gel coat. Fantastic. And it's all dried off, and this is a day later, and, I, and I've started taking it apart. However, there's a huge problem. Huge problem. And um, I'll show you when I get it off, but what the mould is doing, when I'm peeling it off, it's taking the bloody, it's taking some of the um, filler, taking some of the filler off with it. 
so there's an issue either with my waxing or with the release agent that I put on there. Not enough, obviously, not enough of something. Anyway, because it's getting stuck to it and it's, it's putting it off. As you can see, not quite as successful as I first hoped. Um, oh. oh, look at my mould, it's just full of filler. The filler is stuck to that rather than sticking to this. So this is an error. This is an error in my uh, waxing or release agent. Now I'm not going to burst into tears just yet. Uh, my mate Ian, remember Ian from the last time, who, who, whose help I should have got when I first started doing this, to be fair, is coming around at the moment to see if something is salvageable out of this. So uh, we're gonna, he's going to pop around, we're going to have a cup of tea, and he's going to tell me what I can do here. Okay, so I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better now, actually. Um, Ian's come around and had a look, which is good. And he says it's salvageable, fantastic. Uh, if you look, or well, he says it's probably salvageable. It's just picking off. So the release agent has kind of worked. It's just that the filler was uh, stuck harder to the release agent, if you like, than it was to the... Um, Oh, to the fairing in the foot to the plug in the first place so yeah you know I reckon it'll work it's gonna take me a long time I was gonna clean all of this crap off and see how, how it looks the good news is I've mashed it up to the bike and it and it it looks pretty good on the bike as in the size wise it doesn't look too bad at all so I think it will work okay I'll come back to you right um, I've got rid of all of the where the mold uh, or the plug rather, all came apart inside here. I've got rid of it all and it hasn't cleaned up too bad at all really, it's cleaned up quite nicely. There are a couple of bits in here, this is the worst corner, up here then where uh, it, it's gone pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to just try filling this with some body filler then and smoothing it all back down again. Uh, one thing about is the edges. I'm not sure what to do about the edges. They're not they're not as crisp as I wanted them to be. So I might actually go around all of the edges as well. Take a long time, but I think it would probably be worthwhile doing it now. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill in the fill in the holes, go around the edges a little bit, and I'll get back to you shortly. Uh, morning everybody, uh, quite a big moment has just happened, I've just put my first coat of wax on the mould, fantastic. So first coat of wax on and I'll keep waxing it up, now there's some right rough edges on it but I figured it'd be a lot easier to clean the first fairing that comes out, or the fairing when it comes out of it. Right good afternoon, uh, we're back again. Um, so. It's been waxed and I've just painted on some release agent onto it and uh, you have to bear in mind if you watched the other video when we made the the seat in excuse the mess in the garage excuse the mess in the garage next video you see or when this is done it's going to be lovely and tidy and sparkling um, if you watched the last video when we were doing this uh, Ian was helping me or rather I was helping Ian probably more to the point um, and when he put the release agent on, he put it on with a sponge and he put it on really thin. Now the reason he did that was because he's a professional and when he takes a moulded part out, a fibreglass bit out, it looks immaculate. It, it look, You don't need to paint it. It's perfect. Uh, this thing is going to need painting anyway and the edges are all a bit knackered and I'm going to have to tidy all of the edges up. So I've painted the release agent on just so I get a decent layer on there and I know I've got a good layer on there. Um, I think the issue with that, when I took the, well, took this off of that, was the, it was the waxing and the release agent side of it that caused me all of the problems. So I'm just going to let this go off and then I'm going to paint on a gel coat layer. Okay, so I'll be back with you in a very short while, hopefully. Gel coat has uh, now gone on, so I've just painted the gel coat on around the fairing. Oh, excuse me. 
and um, yeah, looking good, looking good. Although I say looking good, there's a couple of bits on it. I've run out. I've used all my gel coat up. There's a couple of bits. Where are we? They're a little bit thin. This there looks a bit thin. So I guess it just depends on on. Um, oh God, my fingers. I guess it just depends on. I forgot what I was going to say. Now, I think this is an age thing. I will start saying things and forget what I meant. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back to this video. So this is at the point where I can now break this out. Um, it's dried off pretty well, and I, and I could actually break out this mold or my fairing from the mold. Now, so much time and effort has culminated in this moment. I'm not going to video this because if it breaks on the way out or it's crap or it doesn't look right or something's wrong with it, I'm just going to run out of the door screaming and punch the nearest person I see in the face. So that's probably best not to get that on video. So I'm going to do this by myself and I'll come back to you later on. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this together. We're in this together after all. Right, so I've just started breaking this out down here. And... Oh, look, we can see fairing. We can see fairing. I figured the way to go is going to bash out, break out each leg individually, if we can. Worry. Worry about the worry about the uh, the bit around the headlight. That will be the hardest bit to get out, I think. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Three down, one to go. You see, this probably makes incredibly boring, boring television to watch, but to me, this is super exciting. Okay. Okay, now now we will get a bit more. So uh, right, okay. So you can see what we've done. I've broken out all four legs, four legs, all four bits of it, and I just have the headlight bit to go. Now I am going to stop video now because I just noticed that's only two minutes of video with nothing going on. So I'll break it out and see what happens. And here it is. Look at that. This is. The first look, the first sight of our fairing. Tell you what. She's actually come out real nice. She's come out really good. Now the big question is, is will it will it fit on the bike? What's it gonna look like? Is it gonna look crap? Oh god. Here we go, bear with me. Right then, uh, as you can see, um, the uh, dust room's back up again. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and, uh, how's that video looking? We're gonna try and take these edges down to where we want them on the fair and just get rid of all of this rough stuff. And I've tried a few different ways of cutting the stuff, but I'm actually gonna have a go with the um, paddle wheel on the grinder. Now this is going to create a lot of dust, and so we've got everything we need. Breathe in, fiberglass dust, horrible stuff. You don't want to breathe it in if you can help it. Uh, I'm not going to be out of video this going on because uh, I've only got one pair of hands. Right, okay. For the how many time? Yes, ten. Right. This is a fair in finish then. So I'm holding it in roughly the right position so we get an idea from all angles what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with the help of my wonderful daughter, one of them, 
who's very understanding with this. Dad, stop. Walk around to the front. Yeah, I will. Um, uh, the, the headlight and the screen have just been taped on. So it'll be interesting to see, um, get a rough idea of what she's going to look like on it. And you can see it's not quite classic style. I wanted a bit more race than calf race, if you see what I mean. It's smaller than the normal BMW ones. And I like it. At the minute I like it, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait and see. I think. Um, I need to get the mountains bolted on there properly. I think been, the last video has been such a long time ago, I think probably I'll put this video up before we mount the fairing because that'll probably be another month while we try and figure that out. Okay? Okay. We good? We good. Got all round? All round. Well done. Okay, so, so we're going to post this video. Um, whether or not the fairing is going to be used or not, I don't know. But I'm going to post this one just so you can see the process of making it as much as I can anyway. Um, again, this will inevitably end up being a long video. There's lots of bits of video for this one. So we've got a fairing, uh, six inch headlight. Well, it, it's six inch outer to outer. So the actual glass size of the headlight is probably about five and a half inch or so I guess. Double bubble screen. Um, we had a lot of different attempts at making fairings. And this is what came out in the end. It looks, when it's on the bike, very hard. You, you see from the video uh, that, uh, that we did a minute ago, these side bits uh, look like they're pointing up a long way. But when you're on the bike and you're laid on the tank, they kind of have to be that high to um, so you can get underneath the fairing. And it comes out quite a long way on the side, but then that's so your knees are, your knees are behind it. So it's all sort of like, you know, it, it works. The lines I've taken for it are, the reason it's so big on this part is I've taken the top line of that, the top line, and I wanted to get this I'm going to put a pinstripe back on it when I paint it, I think, and I wanted to pick up the pinstripe back on the side of the fairing again. So, yeah, there she goes. She's done uh, for now. Whether it will stay or not, I don't know. Uh, subliminal, subliminal, subliminal. These lights are lovely. Subliminal, they're lovely, they're lovely, they're lovely. They're lovely, they're lovely. Honest. Honest. Uh, whether or not it will stay, who knows, but we spent a lot of time doing it. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with the result. It's come out really well. It's got some rough edges. Um, you know, surround the edges are, are, are a bit rough, but that's fine as a one-off. You know, we can, we can clean this up. We can clean that up. That'll be perfect. Okay, so, uh, apologies for such a long time for this one. Um, the next one... What have we got? What have we got? Oh, new bits over here, look as well. I've got bits everywhere at the minute. So hopefully the one next one won't be too long. The next one, the next one, I might might not be mine. The next, if you see another one cut up my name on it, uh, I'm going to try and get my dad. I'm going to try and do a bit of a, uh, just a quick video on something my dad's making at the minute. <laughs> Notice I said that quietly. Don't know why I said it quietly because I'm in here by myself. Okay, right, okay, um, I shall speak to you again soon. Oh, by the way, that, that's one thing I wanted to say on this video. Um, I've just gone over 100,000 views on my channel, which is fantastic. And for those that are interested, I'm getting around about between 10 and 12,000 views a month at the minute. And I've earned, I'm earning around about £5 a month. £5 a month, which means at the end of the year, 60 quid, I would have paid for the light genius. Right, anyway, shall I speak to you again soon. Goodbye.